Hello everyone, in this video we're continuing with the top-down point and click mechanics. We'll focus on using Melee in a different contextual way. Before we start, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. This scene will be made available on Patreon. So here we are back in our previous scene and we'll be making a couple of uh, changes to the player. So let's start off by doing that first. So first things first, we're going to add perception. Now we're going to contextually attack um, objects or enemies based on distance and uh, in the past in the RTS video for example I've used triggers for this but you don't actually have to do this we can use perception. So I'm going to change the field of view to 360. Um, why? Well because as the player we can actually see everything around us in this case um, and this is quite generally normal for top down as well. So I'm going to reduce the distance here to 20. Um, you can use a completely, uh, oh, sorry about that. You can use a completely different uh, distance if you want. You don't have to do this. Um, if you want it to be closer, that's, uh, you know, further, that's completely fine. Really kind of depends on the, um, the distance the camera has as well. Has to be quite, you know, if you can't see it in the in the screen what's the point in being able to click on it basically um, so if your camera is a lot further away you might want to increase this distance a bit it's completely up to you next thing um, we're going to be changing some of the combat mechanics so previously on right mouse down right we were just meleeing or shooting depending on which weapon we had in our hands I'm going to remove this and the reason for that is I don't want right click to just automatically start um, you know, using your sword or your gun. We're going to do this contextually so you're only going to be meleeing or shooting if there's actually something to melee or shoot at. So now that that's gone, we can keep the actions for now if we ever need to use them again. We're going to add a character. I'm going to uh, rotate him around 180 degrees. Move him a bit further back and let's change his body paint to red just so we, uh, you know, he's at a, uh, a distance. I'll use the one from stats example. Um, it's just a red color, it doesn't really matter all that much. And what we're going to do here is we're going to be adding a trigger to the actual character and all of the attack conditions will actually be based on the character. Now, if you duplicate this character a couple of times, it will just automatically work for all of them. And in this case, we're going to use mouse again, but we're using the different action. So we're using on mouse right click, and it's this one, so not mouse down. So mouse down functions as a normal input trigger, just like on key down, and it's not contextual. My on mouse right click literally means if we're clicking on this very object. So it's actually world based. Um, you can do a single click, you can do a double click, whatever makes you happy. And we'll be adding some conditions here. Now the condition is going to be um, melee attack, no, melee conditions attack. And we'll need actions for both. And what we're going to do is we'll focus on melee first. So is the player armed? then we're going to do something. If the player is not armed, we're not going to do anything. So the right mouse button just won't do anything, um, any of these actions, which is the point, because if you, for example, have uh, multiple enemies or you have loot boxes you want to use this uh, right mouse for as well, you don't want anything else to trigger. So is armed. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do senses. So is the distance between the player and this object, which is a character, below, and I'm going to do three. Then we are going to input melee attacks. Now the reason I'm choosing three is simply because the default melee attacks are quite elaborate, so they take up quite a bit of space, so three is completely fine, you'll still hit. Um, but if you are using different attacks, different weapons, different animations, you might have to, you know, see what works best for you. Then we are going to use look at. Um, I tried to use focus, had some uh, mixed experience, so I'll use look at. 
and we'll drag in the character again. Now if you duplicate this character, this will simply just automatically set to the new character as well. So you can still easily duplicate things. And we're going to do input melee. Where is it? There we go. Now, what if the distance is bigger than three? We're going to call conditions. We're going to duplicate the set of conditions and we're going to rename this to walk to. Going to drag these in. And by default now everything is the same, so I'm going to make this, I don't know, distance of 10, what, you know, whatever, how big the distance you want it to be that he's still able to walk to the character. It's completely up to you what that is. You can do 15 if you want. Um, I'll keep the look at I'm not. I didn't do that previously, but we'll see how that works out. And let's do move, player, uh, transform drag in the character and the stop threshold of one. We don't want him to get literally up in his face. And these actions will be gone. So if our player is not armed, he's going to go through this set. You know, he won't meet these conditions Then these conditions will be called. Need to uh, drag those in. Then We'll match these conditions, walk to. If he's again not armed, nothing will happen yet again, because then these conditions will be called or these actions. And as you can see, there's nothing here, so nothing will happen. If the distance is below 15, he'll walk to this character. But if the distance when right clicking is uh, below three, we're going to melee attack. So let's give this a try. And I'm sorry about this being a bit small, so I'll make it full screen. So yeah, walking still works. We're meleeing, and now if I'm right clicking, as you can see, nothing happens. Now, he's a bit out of our screen. If I right click on him, we're going to move towards him. And then if I right click again, we're going to be meleeing. And I mean, as you can see this, uh, you know, it works well. If I right click here, then nothing happens. So that's one advantage as well of not using uh, focus uh, in this case, uh, is that we don't need to release focus ever either. So look at is actually quite useful. Um, yes, it's a bit less, might be a, look a bit less smooth, um, but it's really fast, it's really snappy, and there's no problems with uh, having to release focus ever, so you don't need a general, uh, general off-click input. And the nice thing here is if there are multiple enemies, um, we can have the same thing. So I'll demonstrate that as well. So let's go out of play mode. There we go. So we have our character here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally duplicate him, um, put him in a slightly different angle. Um, you know, as if the player would be surrounded, something like that. Because, um, yeah, right now the enemies don't have any behavior. But, you know, for the enemy behavior, there's nothing different than what I usually do when it comes to behavior. Uh, if it's for top downs, it doesn't really matter all that much. So, if I hit play now, and let me drag this full screen again. So, I'm going to equip the sword and right click here. As you can see, we'll attack. And if I want to attack this one, we can straight away. We don't have to move to him. This one was a bit too far at this point, so we have to move. And, you know, that's it. We, we just attack, and all we're doing is literally just using the same button. Um, we don't need to release anything. It's all just simply distance-based. So using senses for the player for once rather than um, for enemies. And as you can see, it works really, really well. So yeah, pretty cool, and as you can see, pretty easy, just a, uh, a different way of using um, what we're used to. Now we can do this with Shooter as well, 
um, what's the distance uh, the difference really um, not all that much uh, I'm going to remove those uh, those duplicate guys because I don't want to set it up uh, three times is yes, we're going to duplicate this entire set we'll rename this to um, I don't know gun conditions attack something like that and gun uh, conditions walk to there we go um, we'll need to change the is armed to the shooter is armed um, is armed there we go So let's drag that up. I should have removed the other one first, just to be sure. Now we can increase this distance, obviously, as um, you know we're using a gun. For demonstration, I'll just keep it five. Just you know, we can keep everything in screen. Um, I, I'll keep this to fifteen. I'm actually fine with that. And then we can do a. Um, we need the same shooter uh, is armed. There we go. Perfect. Stop threshold, I'm going to do four. Uh, maybe I should have rethought this a bit too. Let's put it to six. I, I don't really know. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll change all of this to shoot. So, weapon shoot, player single. And that's it. So what we're going to do now is that uh, the action we've removed, we're going to drag it back in. Um, that's the wrong one. So this one. No, uh, is it this one? Yeah, there we go. And we're going to drag in gun conditions attack. Here we're going to use gun conditions walk to. And in this last one, um, we don't have anything again. So let's try this out. So if I draw the gun, oh, the gun, sorry about that. There we go. So yeah, if I draw the gun and I'm shoot, you know, right clicking right now, nothing's happening. If I move to a bit further, and now we're still walking, but as you can see now we're close enough and we're shooting. So you know, really cool, really good. Um, right clicking here does nothing again, and yeah, we're uh, we're shooting again. So pretty cool, and uh, I mean that's really all there is to it. Um, you know. It's, uh, it works pretty well, um, it re removes a lot of complications with having to set a release on for with focus for example by just using look at. Um, it's quite useful actually, it's something I well, never really used before to be honest. Um, but as you can see there's a lot of value to it. And yeah, it just works really really well and that's pretty much it. So. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.